Hey guys, this is Kurt with Owensboro RV, and today I'm standing in front of the 8320 KBS Flagstaff Camper. It's, it's Again, it's a new floor plan that they've come out with. I think it's a really cool floor plan. I think it's one that you're going to like. And so let's, we want to take a look at this. One of the things that I've always liked about Flagstaff is this front end. Uh, they've redesigned it this year. It's much more aerodynamic, looks much more space age than it has in the past. It's really grown on me as I've come to see these come in over the last couple of weeks. I really like what they do with this front cap. It gives you that window. One of the only manufacturers that still uses a window on the front end. I think it's a great design. Uh, when you see one of these coming down the road, you definitely know what it is. And so uh, Flagstaff, one of the only ones that does it, I think it's a great feature. One of the things I've always liked about Flagstaff is the frameless windows. It is a jealousy style window that opens out. I think it's a great feature. Right here is a uh, rail that you can put an outside grill on. Also, you've got your brackets for your TV. You can drop your TV from the outside to the inside right here and have all of your connections. You can see the awning over the front part here. Uh, it is a metal wrapped awning and so it protects the awning material. You've got your LED light underneath that. You've also got a uh, awning on the slide out itself with an outside kitchen on the, uh, on the slide out. We're a little tight on space right there but has an awning on the slide out that goes over the outside kitchen and so a nice feature as well on this camper. So guys we're standing inside the 8320 KBS camper. Uh, you've got the two opposing slide outs. So on this side you've got your TV and your fireplace. It is directly across from two Lazy Boy recliners and so I think that is a nice feature that your TV is right across from where I'd like to sit on the recliner watching TV. You've got a lot of storage up here and so you can see the storage as you walk through here and also all the cabinet space here and a little pantry area or spice rack that you can put spices and whatnot on here. You've also got the uh, Kitchen Island. One of the things that I've always liked about Flagstaff, uh, kind of the name brand stuff. So it's got Depart Corian as far as your um, countertop surface. So name brand stuff, Lazy Boy recliners, on and on. You've got the overhead storage here which is really nice. And then again, like I said, two Lazy Boy recliners, also free standing dinette on this camper. Guys, one of the things that is really cool about this camper is the amount of storage. I really like this feature right here. This is a uh, pantry slash coat closet. Light comes on when you open this door and uh, it's real deep. It goes way back in there. So it's a great place to put your cereal boxes, um, a lot of your canned goods and stuff can go back in here. Plus, you got a place that you can hang uh, coats and jackets on cold days like it is today. You got the nice island here for the kitchen. Nice big oven. Uh, Magic Chef microwave here. You've got the glass uh, cover over the three burner cooktop here. You've actually got like a real backsplash on it. And then you can see all these pull out drawers nice and deep and you got four of them there you've got one under the stove plus you've got storage right here in the island that you can utilize as well along with the trash can and stuff that it has so nice uh, living area nice kitchen on this camper popular it's gonna be a popular floor plan has been in some of my other brands that I carry so I really feel this one's gonna do really well for us one of the things that Flagstaff changed this year is the control panel everything is nice nicely uh, labeled everything is real easy to understand what it is what it does um, this is a great feature that I really like about the Flagstaff's this year uh, I wish everyone did this because if everything so simply labeled so here you got your awning retract your awning uh, number two retract awning extend awning to extend your lights to turn on your gas water heater um, everything's real simple everything's right here labeled easy it's 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 one of those things that uh, I think is going to be a great feature as you're looking at maybe upgrading campers and looking at uh, going a different direction uh, than what you currently got this is nice nice to have so on this one as we're standing in the bedroom, you got a full 60 by 80 queen. It is a bedroom slide out, so the bedroom feels very spacious. Again, this is that front window that I was talking about, and uh, I really like it because it allows a lot of light to come in, and uh, I'm a guy that always likes to look out and, and see out. 
So uh, these would be open for most of the day. Then when you're ready to go to bed, of course, you got the day-night shades that you can pull down and kind of give you that privacy as you're going to bed. A lot of storage in this bedroom. You've got the overhead storage there, but you've got the nice big storage right here in terms of you got six pull-out drawers, which is quite a few. And then also you've got the nice closet here for the hanging wardrobe. And you can see you can hang a lot of stuff right there. Plus you've got a little bit of storage under the bed with some uh, pull-out drawers that are underneath here as well. So it's a great place to store the things that maybe you don't use a whole lot, but uh, need, to, need to take with you. Um, two nightstands on either side of the bed, which I think is very nice. Plug outlets everywhere. And so uh, really just a nice uh, free-flowing and, and very it functions very well on the bedroom here. All right, so we're in the bathroom on the uh, camper here. The bathroom is tight, and so uh, make no mistakes about it. This is not uh, a real big bathroom, but it certainly... I like the fact that you can get to it from the bedroom. It has a slide pocket door that slides across. And so uh, just for easy access in the middle of the night, uh, as we get older, obviously, you got to go to the bathroom more. And so uh, this is nice that you can just access it from here or from the hallway uh, when you have guests. And uh, it does have the radius shower, so it does give you a little bit more room in terms of uh extending that out a little bit in a tight space and so a uh, pretty nice bathroom overall and i do like that you have the nice big uh, kind of linen closet there and uh, put your towels and stuff so um, nice bathroom overall just a little bit on the tight side guys i hope you enjoyed looking at the 8320 kbws camper this is a great floor plan. Uh, MSRP comes in right at the mid 40s, the way that this one is equipped. Uh, Flagstaffs, most of them are in that kind of price range. So it's certainly not an entry level camper by no means. I think it's a, it's a great uh, camper in terms of the quality and what you're getting for the price point. There's, there's a lot of campers and a lot of manufacturers out there, but I'm telling you Flagstaff really has their stuff together and really think through a lot of the things and uh, really they're using high quality um, products throughout the camper. And guys, if you're ever in the Owensboro area, I would love to talk to you about your camping needs. Come see me. Again, my name's Kurt. I'm sales manager here at Owensboro RV. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business and, and just to really share our passion about camping with you guys. Thanks for watching.